The Rack Show, geek culture at its best. are now here with the one, the only Matt Orline. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. If you're not familiar with Matt Orline, recently he released a video of him challenging Japan to a... Uh, a what, what giant you, a robot giant duel. A giant robot duel. Yes. Would this be the very first large robot fight? Uh, that we know of. So okay. that, that me or any of my co-founders are aware of, yes. This is the, Very cool. The first Amazing. international giant robot duel uh, that we've ever heard of. I love that we live in a world where that's a thing. This is the new That reality, is amazing. For I, sure. I, I used to play that, the, the uh, Mech Warrior game, and there yep. was another one me and Will played where you were like a scorpion, and uh, love those games. Yep. I can't believe they're making this a reality. Yeah. Make- like, and I know the guy that's going to be inside. You're technically a Mech Warrior. I am a mech warrior. You are a me- I am we are sitting one with- of the world's first mech warriors. There, there's three of you guys. Yeah. There's the Japanese guy. Who's yep. What's his name? Uh, the Japanese company is called uh, Suidobashi Heavy Industries. Suidobashi Heavy Industries. Yep. And is there a certain warrior that they have? Uh, I don't know who their pilot is, okay. actually. And, so. you, and you have a, a two-pilot mech, or right. I guess giant robot, whatever you want to yeah. call it. So there's, so there's two pilots in our mech. Mm-hmm. Uh, the person, and they sit kind of one in front of each other, so like a fighter jet. Mm-hmm. Uh, the person in the back is the driver, so they control kind of like how the mech drives and, and moves and stuff like that. And yep. then the person in the front is the gunner, um, and they control the weapon systems and the arms and the targeting and stuff like that. Weapon systems. Yep. Totally a real thing. Now, totally what thing. made you want to challenge Japan to a giant robot fight? You just heard they had one, you're like, we can do that too, or what's more Yeah, planning? so so uh, so Megabots, Megabots is the company name. Um, we are a giant fighting robot sports league. So we're trying to create the sports league of, of this is the new reality, right? Giant I, fighting robots that like come into a stadium and have these like huge stadium sized mech fights. Like WWE, but with robots. Yeah. And so yeah. And real. Yeah. Uh, so we were trying to figure out how to how to bootstrap this whole process because um, one way you can do it is you can build a whole bunch of robots and you can just start fighting them in a stadium. Um, but a cheaper way of doing that is building one robot and then figuring out who else in the world also has a giant robot and challenging them to a fight. So this was actually a this was like a cost savings measure for us, <laughs> uh, believe it or not. Marketing um, genius. Though. Yeah, and so uh, the 4th of July was was just right around the corner, so we were like, let's make it kind of this goofy, overly patriotic, like <laughs> rah-rah America, we're going to challenge another country it, to, hit a, a, cone. I like to it. a giant I loved robot it. fight. So um, it worked out really well, the video went super viral, um, and it's and it's been wildly successful, probably more so than we, we actually thought it would be. Um, I, like, we figured people would, would kind of share it around, especially in, like, the robotic circles and stuff um, that we're familiar with, but, like, it pretty much went mainstream. They sent a, uh, a message back, yeah. Yeah. their own video, yeah. and they said, yes, we're going to do this. Yeah. But it's going to be... Yeah, but, they but upped the ante, though, right? Yes, to melee. So, like, robots yeah. hitting robots. So this is a pretty impressive thing you got going well, on Well, when it's a world record, it should be impressive. I, world record, yes, we sir. say. Ben Heck, hello, sir. Hey, Hi guys. How's it going? Doing? doing really well. Uh, we heard you were here. We had to come find you, pin you down. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time. We really appreciate it. Sure. <laughs>